Hi there, welcome back to my bachelor on math. In this video, I will answer your question number 7 from Pierce and Excel A level exam for mechanics 1. This exam is taken in major session in year 2023. Paper reference code is WME01 slash 01. A car of mass 1200 kg is towing a trailer of mass 600 kg. Up a straight road as shown in the figure 4. The road is inclined at an angle alpha to the horizontal where sine alpha equals to 1 over 12. The driving force produced by the engine of the car is 3000 Newton. The car moves with acceleration 0 0.75 meter per second square. The non-gravitational resistance to the motion of the car is modeled as a constant force of magnitude 2 R Newton. The trailer is modeled as a constant force of magnitude R Newton. The car and trailer are modeled as particles. The tow bar between the car and trailer is modeled as a light rod that is parallel to the direction of motion. Using the model, show that the value of R is 60. Let me draw all forces acting on car and trailer. You know that the weight of the car is 1200 G because mass is 1200. So we can draw the weight force vertically downwards. It will be 1200 G. And trailer is 600. So we can draw weight force for trailer. Let's say this is acting downwards. So it will be 600 G. The driving force produced by the engine of the car is 3000 Newton. So you can show here a driving force. Driving force acts like that up the plane. So it will be 3000 3, Newton. Acceleration of the car is for sure it will be this way. That is 0 0.75 meter per second square. This is acceleration because non gravitational resistance to the motion. Resistance to the motion to the car is 2R Newton. This is given here. And for trailer, resistance is R Newton. So you can draw these two forces as well here. So car is facing 2R. It will be like that 2R. And trailer is facing R. So you can draw like that. Okay. So these are the forces. Now, this uh, trailer and uh, car is connected with a light rod. So, you can ignore the mass of the rod. It is light and tension are acting between this one is given like that. We know this. Okay. So, tension acts like that. They, it will cancel the effect of each other for sure. Now, you can draw the normal reactions here. You know, normal reaction is always perpendicular to the surface. So, this is the normal reaction acting this way. Uh, this line should be 90 degrees with this line the with the slope and here it is a normal like that okay so this is normal reaction this is normal to the trailer let's say this is nt and we can say this is the normal to the car we can represent as nc so these are the forces that are acting on the system uh, first of all let me draw here uh, a combined figure for this uh, to get the value of r actually we want to prove that r equals to 60 newton Okay, so let me draw this force, all these forces for the whole system. I'm drawing like that. This is the slope. Let me consider a whole system for this all. Uh, here is the whole system. We can say the weight of both car and trailer. We can say this is 600 kilogram for the, for the trailer and 1200 kilogram for uh, the car. The total weight of the system is 1800 G okay so we can draw here weight that's way this is the weight uh, 1800 kilogram for the whole system you have to combine these two objects as a single particle you have to consider like that to get the value of R in that case you have to ignore uh, the tension between them because uh, tension and thrust between them okay we have to ignore because these two forces are cancelling the effect of each other so all the rest of the forces you have to draw here one force that is driving that is three three thousand newton acting up the slope and there are two backward forces two r and r we can combine them together it will be three r for sure okay for the whole system we can say this way force acting this way is 3000 kilogram uh, 3000 newton and backward will be 3r okay and here draw a normal to this surface that's it 
we know that the mass of the trailer and car is 1800 if you combine them together so weight will be 1800 g is the weight and angle made by the slope is alpha it is given in the figure and this is the normal and this force is 3000 newton this is the driving force and backward forces are the two resistances one is 2r other is r so it will be 3r okay if this angle is alpha this angle is alpha as well hopefully you understand now this force is making angle alpha with this line so you can resolve this force into its components so there will be two components for this force one component is acting this way and other is acting that way we know that this is the horizontal component we can say it is 1800 g cosine alpha and this component this one is 1800 g sine alpha so these are the forces that are acting on whole system that's it so here we can write as for whole system we can use the newton's uh, second law of motion like this of the slope net force we know that net force formula is ma look at this figure what is the net force because acceleration is going that way you know uh, is 0.75 object is moving up the slope so this is the acceleration so this force is greater than the force uh, the backward this way okay so this force minus these two forces will be the net force we can we can say as 3000 newton minus 3r and the other force that is acting down the slope is this component look at this these two forces are acting down the slope and this force is acting up the slope so the, the difference of these two will give you the net force so minus 1800 g sine alpha equals to the mass mass is 1800 1800 and acceleration is 0 0.75 from here we will get the value of r you know just only move this value to the right side and bring this value here and sine alpha is already given uh, in the question so it will be 3000 minus 1800 g g is 9.8 sine alpha so instead of writing sine alpha we will write the value of sine alpha it is given in the question that is 1 over 12 so we'll plug here 1 over 12 minus 1800 into 0 0.75 equals to 3r by using calculator if you solve it to the left side so you get the answer as 180 exactly answer of the left hand side is 180 so you can write here 180 equals to 3r and uh, 3 will divide to the other side so we get the answer as r equals to 60 newton it is exactly as required so first part of this question is done let's move on to part b let me read the statement for second part find the tension in tow bar we need to find the tension in tow bar for this you have to consider only you can consider trailer or the car that is your choice we can consider here for trailer to get the value of t uh, just only this figure okay consider this if you consider trailer you know this angle is alpha as well and here we will get two components of uh, this weight force so there are two components one uh, this component the this one is 600 g sine alpha actually we need this component only okay so uh, here which force is producing acceleration this one the difference of these two you know here one component is acting up the slope and two components are acting down the slope okay hopefully you understand it so what will be the net force here let me show you uh, okay I'm using this space I think you will understand for trailer only again I'm using the Newton second law net force equals to ma and we are using this way up the slope 
the difference of the forces like uh, because acceleration is this way so this component is greater t is greater than r and these two so one component is acting this way so up up the slope we will consider positive and these two components will take negative so difference of these two like t minus r minus 600 g sin alpha equals to m a equals to m a okay so this component t minus r minus 600 why these two minus because they are in opposite direction like that this way we are considering positive and this way we are considering negative that uh, this is the way okay now plug the values we'll get here you know r we already got that is 60 so we need to find value of t keep t as is r is 60 minus 600 g is 9.8 and sine alpha is 1 over 12 equals to m a m here is 600 because mass of the trailer is 600 600 multiply 0 0.75 and t will be equals to solve all of them we get the answer from here uh, like i think better you keep as is and at the end we will get the answer this one and this becomes positive to the right side so it is 60 and the other component becomes positive as well so you can solve 600 uh, divided by 12 will give you 50 plus 50 into 9.8 now use calculator to get the value of t 600 multiply 0 0.75 plus 60 plus 50 into 9.8 will give you the answer as 1000 newton so this is the answer for the second part second part is done hopefully you understand this part as well now the last part of this question when the car and trailer are moving at speed 12 meter per second the tow bar breaks given that non-gravitational resistance to the motion of the trailer remains unchanged use a model to find the further distance moved by the trailer before it first comes to the rest you know in this case uh, because this tow bar, tow bar is broken this one and uh, for sure because it was moving before due to its momentum it will cover uh, some further some distance but uh, to cover that distance the acceleration will would not be the same like before before acceleration was 0 0.75 now the tow bar is broken so you have to ignore this uh, tension from here for the for the trailer so we'll ignore for the last part only this is the difference we have to ignore and you have to find the new acceleration when the tow bar is broken so this time there is no tension here so we'll ignore this tension this tension is not there only uh, these two forces they are acting down the slope actually and they will reduce the speed uh, for this trailer and trailer comes to the rest you know and these two forces are producing the acceleration actually that will not be the acceleration that will be the des deceleration actually uh, you have to find that deceleration last part of the question uh, we have to use the net force again by using Newton's second law of motion we can find the new acceleration because tow bar is broken so we have to find the new acceleration net force this time will be minus r and minus 600 g sine alpha let me draw quickly here uh, the trailer let me show you the forces uh, for the trailer that are acting uh, you know this is the trailer and here this is 600 g a weight force for the trailer and here it is alpha and this is normal reaction and here this is alpha and here this force is acting down the slope this is r there is no t this time and this com this force is the vertical component of 600 g this component this is 600 g sine alpha and the this one horizontal component this one is 600 g cosine alpha so these are the forces acting acting on the trailer uh, this time there is no t and due to these two forces that are acting down the slope the speed of the trailer will reduce to zero okay and deceleration is produced that why we are considering this way uh, negative because they are opposite to the motion hmm? minus r and minus 600 and here mass of the trailer is 600 and acceleration you need to find minus r r is 60 and this is 600 sine alpha that is already given that is 1 over 12 
this 600 will divide to the other side so it will be like that equals to a if you solve it we will get here the negative acceleration that is called deceleration due to which it will stop minus 11 over 12 meter per second square so as is you can write now we could write here the swath s u v a t we need to find the distance covered when the tow bar was broken initially the object both were moving with this speed 12 final speed approaches to zero because it will stop for sure after covering some distance and acceleration we just found it that is minus 11 over 12 if you have three things known in swath equations the fourth one you could find so this equation uh, is uh, suitable here like v square equals to u square plus 2 as from here you could get the value of s v is 0 initial speed is 12 square plus 2 acceleration is minus 11 over 12 and distance covered you need to find this value is negative so you can move to left side it becomes positive if you cancel this 2 with 12 it left with minus 11 over 6 s equals to 144 now s will be equals to this becomes positive because it is negative here so it will be positive 144 multiply 6 divide by 11 will give you the answer as to three significant figures 78.5 meters so this is the last part of this question hopefully you understand if you have any doubt or any question about this uh, this question please write in the comment box thank you